That is not the only thing that will change once the public health emergency expires tomorrow. The Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, recently decided to extend the timeline for those of you who get your prescriptions using a telehealth doctor. WFO 48 Sean Dowling spoke to several health experts today about the fine print. Sean? Yeah, Liz, that's a good way to put it, fine print, because there's one key difference to how telehealth practitioners will handle prescribing meds here, and it involves putting down that phone and seeing a doctor face to face. So in other words, there has to be establishment of a doctor-patient relationship in person. Because of the DEA's extension, the same guidelines will stay in place until November 11th, allowing telehealth practitioners to prescribe certain controlled medications without doing an in-person exam first. But Huntsville physician Dr. Tim Howard says things will be different for Alabamians. But the key is we're in the state of Alabama. We abide by those rules, and those rules say that in the state of Alabama, Telehealth can only happen if there's an in-person visit initially. Take it from the executive director of the Medical Association of the state of Alabama. He says those extended guidelines won't apply here when it comes to certain controlled substances, like medications prescribed for anxiety, opioid addiction, and sleep or pain disorders. The slight complicating factor in Alabama is that Alabama has a law in the books passed by the legislature last year that says in order for a patient to get a controlled substance prescription via telehealth, the provider has had to have seen the patient within the preceding 12 months. But that's not the only change when it comes to telehealth practices, according to Dr. Wes Stubblefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health. No more unsecured platforms like FaceTime to chat with patients. Those restrictions are coming back where the physicians or, or other healthcare providers that do telehealth will be required to, to make sure that they're using a secure platform. And even though there's another step for Alabamians to get the medications they need, all of the health experts expl explained that telehealth is here to stay. Liz? That's good news for a lot of people to hear. Thank you so much, Sean.